dedicated to people who love the outdoors. Brought to you by the new Ford Expedition, the only way to get there. Bass Pro Shops Catalog. Tracker Marine. Fish the finest. That washer, that hole in there, you can see that? That's about twice the size of my arrow. And what I want you to do is I'm going to have you swing this. It's on a little string here. I'm going to have you swing that by this decoy. And I'm going to go back there 20 yards and try to put it right in that hole like that. Do I have to stand here while you no. do that? Best thing you do is after you swing this is get out of the way. You count got it. on it. Huh? Count on it? Count on it. All right, let me go on back. 1920. Okay, uh, what I want you to do now, Flip, is swing that. That's good. Okay. You missed it. <laughs> Let me ask you. Have you ever hit this before? No. Have you ever tried this before? No, it's the first time. You missed. <laughs> For Flip and I, fishing has been our life. But hunting has been our way of life, especially hunting for white-tailed deer with a bow. Flip has mastered the fine art of shooting a longbow with precision accuracy. His knowledge and understanding of the woods, plus his ability to move through it undetected, has gained him great respect amongst his peers. If I had to advise hunters regarding how to hunt better, how to hunt more effectively. The more you know about the area that you hunt, and the more you know about the animal that you're hunting, the more successful you're gonna be. It would be hard to say, rule number one is this. Rule number one, two is this. Um, there are too many different geographies involved. Um, but the more you know about that geography, and the more you know about the way the animal moves through that geography, based on, on where they feed, based on where they sleep, uh, based on where they uh, are forced to go because of topographical features, the more easily you'll be able to predict where they're going to be at a certain point in time, where to locate your tree stand, how to plan your stalk, uh, how to use prevailing winds at different times of the day and different times of the year. And so it all gets back to knowledge. And none of that is going to come from my mouth to your ears. It's going to come to you as a result of paying dues and being in the woods, which is not a penalty. It's really quite a nice place to be. Because of where I hunt whitetails, I love to hunt them on the ground. And so usually on any given day, unless I have a plan, I start on the ground. And I probably pay less attention to wind direction than most people do when they're hunting. I, I really never have understood all this business about wind direction and smell. And, but I know that they have great noses and can smell you quite a long ways off. But unless you have a feeling that you know exactly where a whitetail is as you move through the woods or through a swamp, the wind direction really doesn't matter. You don't know where he is, you have no idea which way the wind is blowing relative to you and relative to the deer. And so uh, basically the approach that I use is to move extremely slowly through the woods. I think of myself almost like a tree stand that's barely moving through the woods, and I could take an hour to move a hundred yards, and very commonly do. And I think that the thing that that uh, humans can use to their advantage in hunting, more than anything else, is the human ability to detect motion. 
we can't smell anything, we've lost that. We can't hear that well, we've lost that. But we still have an amazing ability to pick up movement in the woods and to immediately identify what that movement is. And the more time you spend in the woods, the more acute that sense becomes. And for me, it has become very, very acute. And so I hunt visually more than any other way. Expedition built Ford Tough. Another rough day on the lake. Now you don't have to rough it anymore. Introducing the new Tracker Pro Team 175, the first boat with the all new Revolution Hull, and the only boat with a smooth ride guarantee. Let us show you. Call now for your free copy of this test drive video from Tracker. Oh, did you see that one, John? It's all about time. Taking the time to enjoy the simple things. You got one, son? Yeah! Whoa, Dad, look at this! Yeah. Whoa, he's really fighting me! Bass Pro Shops helps make that time oh, special. <laughs> Great. Good job. Wow. I'll bet that fish weighed 10 pounds. Great, Jack? After all, they grow so fast. One question still haunts camcorder buyers. Well, it's tapes playing my VCR. It's tapes playing my VCR. If not, you're hooking up wires or linking a laser. You want a Panasonic Palmcorder camcorder. It shoots brilliant pictures that play right in your VCR. Not all camcorders do that, and that could come back to haunt you. Yes, if it's the palm quarter from Panasonic, just slightly ahead of our time. Glenn is a hunter whose focus on trophy whitetail has spirited him to some of the fabled big buck areas of North America. He hunts with rifles, but archery is what really calls to him. There's no way to talk about all whitetail. And I think that's a big mistake that people make is trying to compare whitetail deer in Florida or whitetail deer in Alabama compared to Saskatchewan or Texas. Each group of deer are genetically different in a way. Uh, for instance, uh, on the Alabama side, of uh, the reservoir there, Lake Eufaula. You have deer that'll rut in January and February, and yet just a, in some cases, a few hundred yards away, the deer rut in November and parts of December. Why is that? I've never heard an answer to it, but it's different. And because of that, you have to plan according to the geographic area that you're going to. And I think to be successful, you need to do what I call scouting. That doesn't mean just getting in the woods and looking around. It means asking questions. Try to find out the peak periods when most of the deer are harvested. And particularly if you're interested in a big deer, you need to find out when the bigger deer are harvested. For me, the fall is the beginning, and the beginning of a quest to locate a trophy white-tailed deer. You seldom see any big bucks in early fall during the daylight hours, but you have to be there to look for telltale signs, signs of food, where they sleep, where they mark, especially where they have rubbed their antlers on trees. 
Most good hunting areas have an abundance of does close by. As fall progresses and the mating season nears, the woods come alive with the sounds and activities of bucks and does leaving their mark on the woods. Then bigger bucks start showing up in daylight hours with the thought of mating on their mind. In the open fields around the prime areas, mature bucks will start to chase does. And during that same period, older does will start to show signs of dominance over younger does. Once the uncontrollable rhythm starts, and before the breeding takes place, the bucks will chase the does for hours each day with love on their mind. of this action creates a frenzy of excitement. The best indication of the rut is a broken limb about chest high off the ground and a scraped out area below that is pawed out by one or more bucks. This is to mark their territory where they hope to attract a willing doe. Each buck that comes to this area will wipe the branch across the edge of his eye leaving a scent from a gland that is located on the side of his eye. Then they urinate in the scrape to confirm their willingness to breed. Other bucks will repeat the same procedure, and it is not uncommon for several bucks to repeat the same ritual every day. Those, when ready to breed, often come to these meeting places to find a mate. During the heat of the rut, there is a sound that rings out throughout the woods that gets the attention of all the trophy bucks within hearing distance. This is the sound of dominant bucks doing battle. This is not a game in many cases and it can end up with the death of one or both deer. But still, it happens each year. And for the hunter, it is the very best time to be on the lookout for a monster buck. I never thought when my son moved away that I wouldn't see him for three years. Even my dad used to say farmers don't get vacations. But this is one trip I wasn't going to miss. It's just a tractor for my grandson. How old? Six weeks. He'll play with it when he's older. Every father hopes his son follows in his footsteps. But farming's not easy. The green and yellow means it's a John Deere. My grandfather had one of these. This for when he sold her. It was so different seeing how my son had built his own life. Hey, Dad, I gotta show you something. <laughs> she got a John Deere. Of course. But it was nice to know he could still appreciate where he came from. Introducing the LT-133 from John Deere. At under $2,000, it's possibly the best lawn tractor ever built. And it's the only one with a past as bright as its future. Test their latest parka, mother Gert Boyle and son Tim. Head for the mountains.
Columbia Sportswear, one tough mother. How do you pull a ship that weighs over 8,000 tons and stands 10 stories high? Well, all it takes is a good strong rope and the powerful new Ford F-350 Super Duty. Remember that the next time you tow your bass boat out of the water. Introducing the new Ford F-Series, the most powerful, most complete line of trucks ever built. Ford Tough. Somewhere I made a transition from wanting to photograph wildlife to the point where being in the woods meant more than just hunting. And while I still love to hunt, and I often will combine the two, photographing and hunting, to be able to get out in the woods and really capture a beautiful picture to me is every bit as rewarding and exciting as any hunting I've ever done. When filming whitetail, it is important to find a major feeding area. But even more important, make sure you're in the right location where they can't smell, hear, or see you. When they do, you'll understand why they call them whitetail. Don't overcrowd a whitetail. Stay back, let them come to you. Slow motion photography gives you the opportunity to see and study details about animals that you don't see at normal speed. Each year the whitetail sheds its horns and by the time mating season comes around they have their new set ready to go. For mature bucks that means proving their superiority and perhaps paying the ultimate price.
because of our uh, conservation departments and our federal government and our laws that we now have more turkeys, more white-tailed deer, more game in most cases, which enhances because of the refuge programs and the other things we, uh, places we have, enhances the environment for the eagles and the, and the, the other critters, the, the wood storks and the, and the ducks. And I mean, this has all been an effort when you stop to think about it, of, who, of people who really care about hunting and, and the fact that they want hunting for the generations to come. There are some people opposed to hunting, but if it hadn't been, and if it wasn't for our conservationists that we have today and the laws to protect the game, we wouldn't have, I mean, we would lose our eagles. We would lose uh, a, a lot of our protected birds. We wouldn't have all this wonderful land that was paid for basically uh, through the hunters. The hunters have volunteered to give money, 10% of everything they buy, to the protection and to buying the kind of refuges to protect these animals. So when somebody says, you know, I'm opposed to hunting, they don't know what they're talking about. When they say that, I, they say, I'm opposed to not having all these wonderful critters that we have. We're the protectors. Yes, we do hunt and and we, and we live within the laws that we have created. And because of that, these, these animals will never become extinct. And I feel very proud to call myself a hunter. Quest for Adventure has been brought to you by Ford F-Series. The best-selling trucks are built Ford Tough. Bass Pro Shops Catalog. Columbia Sportswear Company. Tracker Marine. Fish the finest. Panasonic. Just slightly ahead of our time. For additional information, contact our website at www.questforadventure.com.